Well, this is awkward, isn't it? The guy who dives for a living no longer can. And that's like not a joke. We're gonna talk deep about that here shortly, like literally in like a minute. Uh, but I wanna tell you, we are doing some epic stuff today. You guys have requested the backyard pond, how the fish are doing. So I'm finally gonna show you that. We also hopefully are doing a bowfish mission where then we will take those delicate fillets over to the catch and cook cabin where we have some new tech. So I got some new stuff on the catch and cook cabin that I can't wait to show you guys. And those videos are blowing up. You guys freaking love the catch and cook cabin. But we do have to address some unfortunate news. And it's like real, I'm not kidding. This is not clickbait. So yeah, bear with me. It's gonna be a ride. But also it's gonna be a dope day too. Also today's video is sponsored by Haybike. This thing is freaking epic and I can't wait to show you guys. Well, this sucks. <laughs> Yeah, the title and thumbnail is completely true. I'm not kidding. Um, there's been some events happen that are keeping me from diving. So I guess we just dive right into it. Uh, as you guys know, on YouTube here, you've seen me do a lot of underwater stuff. It's pretty much my whole life at this point. We do submarine stuff underwater. We do spear fishing. We do treasure hunting where we dive and find stuff people lose. And it's pretty much been my whole identity on YouTube, which puts me in a weird predicament. <laughs> because uh, I can't do that anymore. And what puts me even in more of a predicament, if you guys didn't know, I'm actually doing a TV show. Now, I've talked about it a little bit here on the channel, but it's pretty much my YouTube channel on steroids. We're going across the country, we're diving down, finding stuff people lose, and it is incredible. Um, it's gonna be coming out on the Weather Channel June 18th, and I think we have like 12 episodes, an hour long a piece. Like, it is gonna be epic. They actually sent me a promo um, sneak peek, and I don't think I'm allowed to show you guys, but I'm gonna, just don't tell anybody. What's up guys? It's me, Brandon Jordan. I travel all around, dive underwater, and find stuff that potentially you have lost. They got some guys in there to party now. You want to see if I find one of your items? I have this gold chain. Wow. Come on over to the Weather Channel and see us in June to watch the search party. This is our search party. We got treasure, baby. So yeah, it's absolutely epic what we're doing on the TV show, and of course you guys already know what we're doing on YouTube. And <coughs> I guess we just jump right into the meat and potatoes of this whole thing. While I was down in the Keys in Florida, I was doing some filming for the Weather Channel, and basically as I went down underwater, um, I felt immense pressure in my sinus cavities up here. So you have sinus cavities on the top of your head, you have sinus cavities here, you have your nose, your throat, your ears, all of these things are connected and they all have to be working optimally because if one is down or something wrong, it will affect the others and basically keeps you from being able to equalize and dive. You ever been like deep in the pool and you're like, man, I can't go deeper than like six, seven foot because my ears start popping and it hurts really bad? Yes, you have to equalize. Anyway, there's a whole lot of science behind diving. And I went down around 10 foot and I felt immense pressure in my top sinus cavities here. I also felt immense pressure behind my eyes. So I had to come up a little bit and I could not get past 10 foot. I tried for about 30 to 40 minutes going up to five foot, dropping down to seven foot, trying to equalize, dropping, going back up to three foot, dropping down to nine foot. And I could not get past 10 foot and we had to completely stop the show, stop everyone, um, and basically uh, I was sent home. Um, I recently had strep throat and I was out for around seven days and I was on the back end of strep going into the Keys. I was no longer uh, sick, but I had some residual, uh, I guess, inflammation. And my sinus cavities are completely inflamed. Um, and it's keeping me from being able to dive and go underwater. Uh, now, what you guys don't know is for the past few months, my schedule has been hectic. I haven't really talked too much about this because uh, I don't want to complain. I've got like a bunch of amazing opportunities. You guys have changed my life on YouTube and the TV show is like 
I never thought I'd be doing TV. It's honestly still kind of weird for me to take this all in, but it's incredible opportunities as well. I'm working on the TV show about three weeks out of the month, which leaves me one additional week. And on my one week, which I'm supposed to be off, I am trying to do at least eight videos in seven days for you guys. So on my week off, I try to get all these videos crammed in. So while I'm out for the next three weeks doing the TV show, I can drop videos for you guys to watch. If you guys have noticed like, hey Brandon, you didn't upload like for 30 days not too long ago. Well, that's because I was sick and it took me out of my week off or anytime there was bad weather on my week off and it put me behind because I need all seven days to film. And I've just been running myself into the ground. Mentally thinking about everything and trying to organize this and like calling ahead and getting stuff scheduled uh, way in advance. So when I do have my week off and then I have to account for weather and just stuff like that takes its toll. But really what's been hard is diving. Um, multiple times a day, every day for months. And this has taken a massive toll on me and I think it's run my body down to the point where I got extremely sick with strep and this wasn't just regular strep, like I was down incredibly bad. I'm still uh, not fully recovered. And basically I cannot dive right now. I actually am going um, to a ear, nose and throat specialist which hopefully they can clear me for diving because the whole TV show is waiting on me. You guys are waiting on me. And basically, what does this mean? Um, this means for now we have to do stuff on land. I cannot go underwater, so which is cool. We've got the catch and cook cabin. We've got the pond, which surprise, I'm gonna be showing you guys some really cool stuff here today. And uh, we've got some opportunities, but it's a, a massive hold and I want you guys to know that your boy Brandon J low key going through it. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully I get cleared by the ear, nose and throat doctor. I'm actually gonna have the people from the weather channel there with me as well at my doctor's appointment. Kind of shows you like the uh, weight and severity of the situation, how one guy getting sick can put the brakes on a lot of stuff. <laughs> so that brings us to what the heck we're doing today. Highly requested, you guys have been begging me about the pond. Brandon, how's the pond doing? How are the fish? How's those big bass? We haven't seen the pond in forever. And that's true, you guys haven't. So today, we're gonna check on the pond. Honestly, I haven't seen the pond either. I mean, like I told you, three weeks for the show, one week off doing YouTube. You know I've been doing all types of houseboat stuff and different diving and treasure videos. So I haven't been to the pond in probably like five months. So. We're gonna go try to see how the bass are doing, see if they're big. We're gonna be throwing a popper, trying to get some big old topwater bites. But then more importantly, we've got the bow fishing set up and hopefully we can snipe some of these tilapia that are on beds. And then we're gonna take them to the catch and cook cabin, our brand new houseboat, and try some new spices. We got like a whole spice cabinet in there. And I've got some updates for the houseboat that I didn't know how to throw into one of the other houseboat videos. So you guys get a sneak peek there. So it's gonna be awesome. And we're gonna be ripping from pond to pond and the bowfish spot on the sponsor of today's video, which is Haybike. This Haybike is the Tyson model and they come in three colors, black, green, and blue. This bike is made from magnesium alloy. It sells for $1,699 and its top speed is 28 miles per hour. Oh my gosh, he's so fast. Tyson uses a 4A fast charger that saves you time, it's good quality, and it has low heat generation. It also has a detachable battery that uses Samsung battery core. The 48 volt, 15 amp hour large capacity battery has a maximum cruising range of 40 miles in pure electric mode, and it has a maximum cruising range of 55 miles in pedal assist mode. It's equipped with a 750 watt brushless geared motor. It provides strong support for your daily commute and adventure. It has hydraulic front fork suspension and disc brakes. This prolongs the life of the e-bike and reduces maintenance has a foldable design so you can easily fold the bike into your trunk with just two steps, saving you time and space. You can monitor your e-bike location, mileage, navigation, and more through the Haybike app. And one of my favorite parts is the anti-theft feature will send you alerts to your phone if your bike is moved. You can also lock your bike remotely through Bluetooth, which is great because I, I forget all the time. One of my favorite features is the auto sensing headlights and the turn signal lights, which make night travel so much safer. I've uh, had this bike for about a week now and seriously every day, 
We start our morning with a morning run. Well, for me, it's a morning ride. It's a morning run for him. And then every evening around sunset, we catch a sunset and this is just kind of what he does. So it uh, is good exercise for me, but it's really great exercise for him. He loves the bike and it makes, it makes my day more enjoyable too. I'll have a link in my description so you guys can check out the Tyson e-bike as well as all of the other awesome e-bikes on Hay Bikes website. You'll get free shipping on all e-bikes and a free gift with your purchase. Support the channel and check out Hay Bike. Now, we've got some riding to do to catch some fish. All right, we're going in the cut. If we catch a fish here, it's gonna be dangerous territory. right where you want it baby oh one's coming for it oh my gosh it's a big one it's a huge one oh my god it's a huge one it is a huge fish oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness dude it brace faced it oh my god oh my god the big ones are still here Kevin. <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh look at how this fish ate the blooper <laughs> Oh my gosh, buddy, what? Dude, the big ones are still here. That one just came up and just sucked it down. Look at that fish. This is a big old mouth on this fish. This fish has definitely spawned this year. Does not look healthy. That's because she laid eggs this year. So let's go ahead and get her in the water like ASAP. But she's living in like a foot or two of water back here. Look at that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes, baby, boom. Just feel like if I pull one off of this, it's gonna be a good one. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is that a bass, dude? Yeah. Oh my God. Dude, that is a huge bass. Come on, turn on me, baby. He's coming. He's coming. Oh my God, big bass, big bass, big bass. Oh my gosh, this is a giant. Oh my goodness, this is a giant, brother. He swam across the lake, Travis. Oh! <laughs> Barely hooked. Oh my goodness, brother, right here, right here. <laughs> oh, oh, she's wrapped up in line. Come here. Come here, big girl. Oh my God. Oh, no, 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 come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. No, 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 come here, come here. Oh God. Oh God, there's so much lure hanging out. Oh my God, there's so much lure. That is a monster. Yes, dude. Oh my God, brother. <laughs> that fish swam across the freaking lake to eat that thing, dude. I mean, we're like, what is that on top? Big old bass, bro. My goodness. I'd say we got our answer that the big girls are still here. Oh, man. Big girl. Big torpedo. My goodness, bro. <sighs> Love watching them swim away like that. All right. I think we got our answer. I mean, I don't think we need to do any more fishing. We know there's bigs in here. I mean, that was like four, five pounds. I don't know, she might've been more. When she was full of eggs, she was probably huge, but unfortunately I was on the road. So all those shiners paid off, man. They're eating the natural forage now. We have really good bait population in the pond that allows this big fish to stay big. We're gonna rip on the bike down to one of the docks. It's known to have a lot of tilapia on it. I've shot a lot of tilapia in the past. So we're gonna see if we can get a nice tilapia filet or two. Oh, Amazon. What's up, buddy? Howdy. <laughs> and I'm not even pedaling at all. I'm just pressing the throttle. I got the throttle right here. This thing is so cool. You can change gears. You even got a little horn. Oh, it's windy, so water clarity is bad. Let's see. Mm. Mm. I doubt we're shooting a tilapia in this water clarity. Oh, 
there's one on bed right there. All right, so there's potential here. By the way, that bike, insanely fun. I've only rode it in my backyard in the dirt, but on the road, so fast. Tilapia, tilapia. Oh, no, no. Did you see that? Oh my gosh, dude. With all the big fish on it, it's for sale. Oh my God, right here. What the hell? Right in front. Here we go. Smoked him, smoked him, smoked him, smoked him, dude. Smoked him. You're going to the catch and cook cabin, baby. Dude, I'm always getting tilapia right there. Oh my gosh. Here is our beautiful tilapia we are going after. And these things are invasive in some of these Florida lakes. There's natural ones and they're invasive ones, but they take over. And either way, this is great eating. It's gonna make great white fillets and it's gonna allow us to try some of our new seasonings and batter that we have in the catch and cook cabin. So we're gonna bag this guy up, take him home, get him filleted up. And then I get to show you some of our secret surprises in the old jig crib as well. Welcome home, Trav. Come on up, brother. The uh, best thing about the houseboat, if you guys didn't know, is that you can actually leave it plugged in. So we don't have the generator running right now, but we still have full power. Like everything has power on the boat. Uh, that's also one thing we added that we didn't tell you guys is front and rear lights. AC's been on for like, honestly, days. So it feels wonderful in here. We'll go ahead and toss these fish up here and then we added a couple more things but i'll let corey show those i don't know how to work them yet um spices and stuff i think we ended up yeah dude we're in freaking business now <laughs> we got the frank's red hot beer batter trav was telling me beer batter you mix it with beer but yeah dry Oh yeah, you're right. Look, single serving dry mix, one and two third cups, or you have your beer mix and you do mix it. So I say we just mix dry mix. I don't have any beer and it's probably not good for like my health because your boy is already freaking down bad. Corey, What's welcome going to the on, party, brother. brother. Come What's on in, up? come on in. Oh, by the way, we need to turn these freaking lights on. We're filming in here. Yeah, Trav's already in the refrigerator, brother. Hey, go ahead, give me what name uh, we got, the old DP, Dr. Pep? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Corey's been working hard all day. Uh, will you snap me one of the Mountain Dews, brother? Go ahead and turtle proof oh, here. Turtle proof it. Oh my goodness, brother, you're a great American. Thank you, Travis. Everybody dropped the comments about it, but we had actually already done it. Our first time out, we took it out, and out of nowhere, a boat blasted by it like 45 miles an hour, maybe 10 yards off the bow of the boat. So instantly, cameras had to go in. Oh my Power gosh. Oh, on. look, man, we're driving a friggin' Tesla semi truck, bro. That's honestly. Oh, what the hell? Is it a doorbell? It honestly feels like you're driving a Tesla semi truck. But here's the Pretty cameras, nice. dude. Check this out. Oh my gosh. So and we have the front of the boat, the back of the boat, left and right. So. Now we have full vision, baby. So if you need to get get a better view of what you have on the side, you can go right through your cameras. Right. Pull it up on the trailer. Just go ahead and pull up Ooh. the front of the boat. You can line up. Because it's hard. I mean, you're sitting all the way on the right-hand side. You got everything in the yep. way. You're looking out a screen door trying to line it up Dude, on the trailer. it was rough. And he actually installed this uh, a couple nights ago. And we were out working on, I think we were doing, I don't know, you were doing something and I was doing something, but I got in front of the cameras at night and it does not just show what is there at night with infrared, it shows color. Full color. Full color at night. I've never seen anything like that. So we can drive at night through and see and navigate with our cameras. Obviously we were using the cameras as an accent, um, but we're also able to go to really narrow rivers, which is why we installed this system. We're gonna go through a really narrow river system and it's gonna be kayakers everywhere. So that's what we have that. So it's gonna be legendary for that, but also security for the boat now. So we have security in our home, which is great. And then we also have something really fun 
in this box right here. Now this is uh, an idea we had and Corey went hard. I mean, there's like boxes of this stuff down here, but we have these big lights and these are gonna go all over the ceiling. So it's gonna look like a freaking party in here. You guys will see eventually at night, there's like a couple small night lights in here. And then with the TV on, you get like a nice, like cool color. But with the mood lights, you can literally set this to any mood you want. Dude, that is gonna be epic. Is that why you chose that color? Yep. Dude, that is freaking sick. Thank you so much. No problem. By the way, everyone um, everyone was curious about the bait wall and they're like, whoever sleeps up there is totally getting shish kebab. Our idea was when you sleep up there, you just take some of the pegs off and just kind of get them out of your way. We also have learned that there is a, another problem that we weren't expecting. All of these um, crappie, jig heads right here well whenever you make a turn they they fall and so we have committed this gatorade box to being the catch-all of our houseboat and so corey has also solved the issue here with peg stops so we can put little rubber stops on the end of these pegs so they can only slide to the stop which like by the way corey thank you so much because that was like a nightmare. We would get to the boat ramp and there would just be lures everywhere. So it's not like a regular bait wall where you can just hang stuff up and then it just lives there. It all wants to slide off and especially the small weights because they're weights and uh, they just get momentum and they get to go. So when you rock the boat, you get hit in the head with crappie lures. Yeah, dude, that looks so sick. My personal favorite and I'm sure all of your favorite is the camera system everybody wanted the camera system everybody had commented about it the funny thing is corey had already bought it day one of the, this boat uh he knew we needed it and you guys obviously agreed so we got the cameras we got peg stops we got dope lights that are going to be like insane it's going to change the mood of this at night and then we also have the guggen art for the bait wall and now we have oil that is ready so let's go ahead bread batter beer batter and dunk these babies it is glowing like lava all right we're gonna throw that in the basket this is a this is a thick one right here son look at that look at that freaking tilapia tender son that is i'm telling this fryer is the best thing i could have bought i literally i was just putting back the french red hot i was like what the hell did we get like a little bottle of bourbon or something I forgot, I got the most expensive maple syrup they make. It, it's like a glass bottle. I, I thought this was like a little bottle of freaking bourbon or whiskey. I was like, I thought the nautical bros were getting lit for a minute on, on the boat, man. That was funny. Uh, we dude, still have French toast to make. Yeah, dude, we gotta make some banger breakfast. That's one thing we haven't done on the boat yet. Well, there's a lot of things we haven't done on the boat yet, but we gotta make a fire breakfast. All right, I think we're gonna call it done there. They look good, man. They, tilapia tenders look like straight chicken tenders right now. All right, we're gonna turn that off. Oh my gosh, dude. That felt like a brick. <laughs> okay, <laughs> dude, that made a thud. Oh my God. We've got our tilapia tenders. I want you to look me in my eye and tell me that does not look freaking good. Never tried the beer batter, but you can tell with that orange through there that the Frank's Red Hot is doing its thing. I mean, that is loaded up with Frank's Red Hot. Frank's Red Hot and beer. That's like wings and beer. That should be a winning combo. I'm not a big beer guy, but I do love wings. Oh my goodness. Is that cooked all the way through? Hmm. A little worried about this one. Cheers, folks. This is my first tilapia tender ever. Normally I cut them in little nugs. And this is my first tilapia on the old houseboat. French Red Hot. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I'm not just saying that. I would tell you if it's gross. I really would. It's the edge. Dude, it's the edges. It's, it's like the cr crusty part right there. This is the freaking really good part. Dude, the French Red Hot. There's a strong hot sauce and it comes through. Mm -hmm. Okay. Noted. Cholula, no good. You try it, don't do Cholula. Will not stick. French Red Hot, 
sticks. And by the way, that's good. That's good. Last time I had tilapia with Tristan, tasted like mud. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's why I cut all the red line out of this one. This one is good. And by the way, just look at that color. Like that just looks right. It lo looks like a little buffalo. It does, it looks like a buffalo wing. <laughs> yeah, it really does. Like a big buffalo tender. Talked about Airbnb being this thing. People love the idea, but we could have the catch and cook cabin restaurant. Could. could be a thing. So if you're in the local Central Florida area, Chain of Lakes, we could do. We'll, we'll have to go out and pop some and mm -hmm. come back and then we'll pop a live drop and let drop Dude, our pin and like, people can like come out. Like a pop-up shop? Yeah. Like a pop-up shop, but it's like a pop-up fr fish fry? Yeah. I love it. So uh, forget the Airbnb idea for now. I mean, we still might do that, but forget it for now because it's not going to happen like within the next month or so. But a big catch and cook meetup could be cool. Like a big fish fry would be epic. Yeah, you guys we are going to have so much cooking. You're going to have to bring sides. We're going to have to set this up for like industrial cooking. But we learned a lot today. We learned that strep throat can keep you from diving. I have my doctor's appointment tomorrow, so if you start seeing diving videos, you know it went well. And if you didn't know that I have a TV show on the Weather Channel, then you learned that today. We together learned, see you nautical bros. They're rolling out. We together learned that tilapia tenders are freaking banging, dude. They're freaking delicious, so good. If you guys uh, try that recipe, let me know on Instagram. Be linked in the description below. Drink with Jordan on Instagram. Pretty simple to find. Uh, it's freaking really, really good. I suggest it. I would try it. Also, if you're filleting up those tilapia, <laughs> sorry for the cough, cut out the bloodline. It makes it so much more enjoyable. I'm telling you, when Tristan and I had it, it tasted like mud. And tilapia is supposed to be good. So cut out the line. All right, uh, with that being said, that is going to wrap it up. I have to drink some, uh, you know, soothing liquids for the old throat. Get her nice and healthy and take my meds and do all the things I can do so we can start diving again. I know that's what the whole video is about. I can't dive. I can't dive for now. I haven't been able to dive for over like 10 days. So it's freaking driving me crazy. I want to get the gills wet, man. You guys know I love the water. It's like my whole life. And uh, now we're just going to be floating on the water and stuff like this. So with that being said, that's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, we'll catch you on the next adventure. Bye.